Hello, hello. All right, guys. Uh, Prestige 2021 blasters, all right? The NFL season's right around the corner. Hall of Fame game is, what, two weeks? Maybe three weeks away? Something like that? Practice should be kicking up, I think, this week for those games. This week or next week. Um, the big set here, 1 through 200, I think, is base. 200 through 300 is the rookie. So 100 different rookies in here, and there's tons of variations of the parallels in this. I mean, a lot. And I think they only go number to like 299 as far as I see. But then you have inserts and there's all kinds of different autos and patch autos and different relics that you can get. So hopefully we're lucky enough to pull something. We all, if you're familiar with my channel at all, you know that I have terrible auto luck. Like I pull autos, I get autos, but I get like, always get the ones that, you know, you're like, who's this guy? <laughs> That's the undrafted free agent, you know, but let's get started and hopefully... Our auto luck will change at some point. The last good auto card I got was a Proline Live 1994, Mar 1994 Marshall Falk autograph. Numbered, hand numbered to like 2000 and something. That was the last good auto I think I pulled. Yeah. <laughs> there it was. No, 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 no. Out of the uh, Onyx recently. I pulled a... Uh, well, I didn't pull it. It's off of Redemption, which I sent it off like six weeks ago, and I'm just kind of getting worried because I got a case of Onyx basketball coming. Uh, I got in Redemptions. It's The guy's had it for like, he lives like a couple miles from me, okay? And the guy's had this cards, had my uh, Redemption cards for Onyx for like over a month. And it's one of the Kyle Pitts, so. It's been about six weeks. It's been over a month. You figure I try to email like, hey, can I just do a pickup? And he's like, no. Probably doesn't even have the cards signed yet. I don't know. Making me a little worried. Patty Mahomes there. Timestamp. That's one of the inserts. That's pretty cool. DK Metcalf. Go Collins, Michigan Wolverine. There's our first rookie, right? Terry Lauren, Jalen Hurts. That's a second year one. And Michael Perrine. And a kid reporter. There you go. There's your code. Thought they only had those in uh, Donruss. Uh, no, Donruss Racing did uh, Daytona 500 thing. That's what that is. Getting so much stuff, we got we got well, we got Chase Edmonds extra points. Okay, that's one of the variations, and that's a that's like diamond. I think it, is that the lowest level one? I think I'm not sure. I can't remember like the levels of them. I know there's red, there's blue, purple, pink, uh, like a was it a black something? Nice looking card though. Sparkle. Like sparkly stuff. There's our another rook. I was trying to see who he's playing for. I can't remember. Vikings. There he goes. Oh, at least they have like the little thing on the corner for the rookies now. So that's pretty hip. Mike Evans. And John Brown. First time really getting a look at this stuff. Uh, did watch like one H2 because that's all the videos I see up right now for the H2 stuff. Uh, wasn't too impressed for what the guy got in his H2 box. But that's hobby boxes, you know. They're expensive and guaranteed a good type of card, but not a good player. A lot of times. So, prestigious. Bros, Drew Brees. These are nice. Look at that. I really didn't have too high hopes for the prestige, but these are looking pretty good. Look, They look better in person, I will say, than I think they did when I seen them on camera. When I seen them on camera, I, they didn't... Because some of the older prestige ones are like really cardboard. And these actually do have a little bit of like paint. 
paper. These are a little bit better quality, that's for sure, than the past. I didn't get a rookie out of it? Yeah, I did. Uh... Hmm. Turn on map. Honey Badger, Jamal Williams, Robbie Anderson, and here we go. Prestige Heroes. M is he? I want to say Emmett Smith. I see the Cowboys. I'm old. I'm old school. I see the Cowboys running back, and that's for that Zeke. Oh, there we go. Trevor Lawrence rookie, right behind it. There we go. That's a nice looking. Look at that. Nice, nice man. Liking these inserts. Of course, the Trevor Lawrence Rook right there. The Jaguars on there. At least they got the team signy on them now. Herbert. Go ahead and, I'm not going to sleeve everything right now, guys. I'll sleeve all my rookies when I'm done and the inserts. I always sleeve all my rookies and my inserts for storage and stuff. But this guy right here, that's, that's Trevor Lawrence, kid. It's a sleeve right now. I'm gonna do two blasters in this one, and that's my first Lawrence. Hopefully, I get some uh, Justin Fields in here. Uh oh, what we got? Gridiron Heritage defensive end number 99, Mark Gastineau. I'm not a Jets fan. If you're a Jets fan, I got some sleeves for these, but I'm not going to do this one right now. If you're a Jets fan, that might be for you. Look on my... I'll get the link up eventually. If you don't see this, it won't be up initially right here when I get on. I'm just trying to get this video out. Powerhouse. Nick Bosa, that's for sure. Powerhouse. Personified. I'll get it up. Believe me, I always get them up. Believe me. <laughs> Uh, Sam Darnold with the Parrot Panthers now. What? They got this cat in a Panthers jersey? Did they Photoshop that or did they get him out and practice with that stuff on? I thought I was seeing stuff for a second there. Congratulations to the Carolina Panthers. They got a first round draft pick this year. The first pick overall in the draft this year, Sam Darnold, for almost nothing. Because they gave up on him. Jets gave up on that cat. Who did they bring in? Who did the Jets bring in? Who did they draft? Was it Zach Wilson? The Jets picked up. Andy Dalton. Preston Williams. Uh oh, here we go. Najee Harris extra points. Here we go. I like these extra points. I like them a lot. I don't know what the ratio is on these. I didn't see a ratio on the blaster box for these and what the odds are of pulling this stuff. I don't even know. I know it doesn't guarantee a mem card. It just says look for a diamond exclusive parallels. Okay, so how many are you supposed to get? I don't know. But these are, the, I guess it's the Blaster Diamond Exclusive. And that card looks like a million bucks. And this cat right here, I'm going to tell you what. The Steelers are notorious for running backs. Um, this cat's going to get the ball. He's going to get it a lot. So, <laughs> I like that card. And we got a Mac Jones rookie. Another dude that's going to be getting the ball because Cam Newton don't start showing out this year. He's a veteran. He's had a year in the system. If Mac Jones beats him out, it's on him. That's all I got to say. It's on him. You better play through your little minor injuries and nut up this year, kid. Otherwise, you're going to end up be you're going to be the backup and then you're going to be out of the league. Because the Brownies don't need a quarterback anymore. He ain't going to be able to go there and die anymore.
Deion Jones, another insert. Prestige, Kyle Rudolph. Any given Sunday. Another rookie, Frank Darby. Not familiar, familiar with Mr. Darby there. He's a Falcon. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Oh, he's with the skins? Miles Sanders. This is good. I like this because they're with their updated team, so I'm like getting like updated. This is being made aware of trades and free agent signings and stuff that I wasn't otherwise aware of. Last pack for the first blaster. So far, we got a nice Nye Harris diamond. Um, a Trevor Lawrence base and a Mac Jones base, so pretty sweet. Last pack. Chris Jones, Ed Oliver, another diamond. Darius Slay, extra points. And there we got a, those diamonds are pretty nice. Jalen Waddle, rookie, base, right? Yeah. Or is it a blue? No, it's a Dolphins. That's why they have the blue on there. Derwin James, Nick Bosa, and Jalen Rieger. That's it for blaster number one. So not bad there. We got, got, a, got a Trevor Lawrence rookie. I mean, the guy's been was considered the number one pick in the draft. He'd be the number one pick in the draft for how many years now? Like whenever he came out, whenever he made the decision to come out, it was already predetermined that he was going to be the number one pick. I mean, you don't. We haven't had that in a while where a guy's been sitting on a in the NFL where a guy's sitting on a side you know in college. For a couple of years, and they just say, you know, whenever he comes out, he's number one pick, regardless of whoever. It's kind of like a can't miss prospect, and the fact that it's at a quarterback position just. Oof. His cards are going to be hot, <laughs> especially if he starts tearing it up on that sorry ass team. Joe Burrow. Lamy Tunsil. Tom Brady, any given Sunday. Nice. No, no, that cat. With the Jets. Justin Herbert. Fred Warner. Not a lot of rookies, though. Wow. We got one that pack. Let's do something about this stuff over here. Lost. Not a high rookie pull rate, which means they sh I would think they should hold their value a little bit more. Because you're not pulling like three out of a pack. We got another diamond coming up. Our first diamond for this blaster. And it's Cole Comment. The extra points. Then we got Seth Williams, rookie card out of Auburn, wide receiver for the Broncos. That'll be our one for this pack. Sam Darnold. Kareem Hunt. Brandon Cooks, Quentin Nelson. What a beast he is, huh? And here, what do we got? Highlight reel insert. This is the first one of these we've gotten. Uh, 2021 Prestige. Justin Herbert debuts with a touchdown. Against the Chiefs. It's our rookie, Kelvin Joseph, for the Dallas Cowboys. Henry Ruggs, and then we go back to our base. Learning the pattern here. I'm learning it. A 
no crazy parallels here. If it wasn't for the diamonds, I wouldn't have. Well, that's unless I missed them. I said it's a new product and I'm not really too familiar with it, but. Matthew Stafford in the Rams jersey. DeAndre Swift, and here we go. And it's like a foil. A rookie, Kyle Trask. Season's greetings from Florida. And it's got the flag there, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to sleeve that up because it's shiny. And I'm in Florida. I don't really root for the gay turds too much. I'm local to Central Florida, so root more for UCF. But they're kind of like the underdog role all the time, you know what I mean? Kyle Trask. It's a nice one, though. And here we have a rookie, Micah Parsons for the Cowboys. I will go ahead and sleeve that because I like Micah Parsons. Getting a lot of sleeves out right now. I like Micah Parsons, though. For the Cowboys. Miles Sanders, Taysom Hill, and that cap right there. Pack feels kind of thick. We've got another mem card here. Is it one mem per blaster? It doesn't say anything about that on the boxes. Emmanuel Sanders. Ooh, is it a CD Lamb? It's a CD Lamb mem card, too. T. Higgins. Oh, I thought maybe it was like, it would be cool if it was an auto patch, but that's cool. CD Lamb. Patch for the Dallas Cowboys. It's the Dallas Cowboys box. Nice looking card right there. I'm not a Cowboy fan, so I'll be putting that up. Those timestamps are nice. And here we go. A Brown rookie, a PC hit. Anthony Schwartz. Put that patch over here with the other one I got. Stars of the NFL. What was the other one? Nick Bosa. Jalen Rager. Corey Davis. Three packs left. And a second blaster. Philip Lindsay. Jimmy Collins. And we got our diamond coming up. Oh, give me a oh, rookie diamond. Let's go. And I got one. Jared Patterson. And that's a gold one, it looks like. That's, or just a uh, Redskins. That looks nice. Not numbered. I think they only numbered these to 299 from what I was reading. I don't know if that's fact or not, but when I was reading, there's not a whole lot of number chances, good chances of getting a number card. That's a beautiful looking card right there, though, folks. Look at that thing. Not sure if this guy's any good, if he was a high pick or not. I'm not familiar with the name, but but he's a running back, and that's a spoofy looking card. And here we got Brown. I think this guy was uh, rejected. There's some people I've seen him having rejected the Browns, taking this guy's first or second round. And I think they got him later. Does it say? No, I don't think it says what round they got him in. That's another PC. Oh, another Brownie. It's Chubb. Malcolm Jack Jenkins. Got a few Brown rookie players here. Oh, they got the corner in the first round. That's who it was. one, right? Let's get him out of this one. What is this? Uh, prestigious pros of Big Ben. Keen Kini Nagawa. Probably just butchered that. Vikings running back. Not too familiar with that cat. Joey Bosa. Logan Thomas. AJ Brown. Next. 
last pack. Maybe we might have one more diamond coming. Be three, maybe? Not 100%. I do got some more of these. I don't know if we're going to do them or not. I did land some more prism uh, draft picks. We got another diamond. There we go. Taysom Hill diamond. Extra points. Then we got a Nick Bolton, Kansas City Chiefs linebacker. Traquan Smith, UCF. Team Morris. And that's it, folks. Let's look. So we did two blasters. How many rooks we end up with here? Of course, we got the Mac Jones. Oh, that's a diamond. Got the Trevor Lawrence. We got Nick Bolton, the Nene guy. Another brownie. Schwartz, another brownie. Micah Parsons for the Cowboys. Calvin Joseph for the Cowboys. Uh, another Bron Broncos wide receiver, Seth Williams. Uh, Jets offensive lineman, Tucker. Jalen Waddle for the Dolphins. I'm going to sleeve that guy up right now. Frank Darby. Falcons. Pat Freermoth, Steelers, tight end. Kellen Mound, quarterback for the Vikings. And Nico Collins, wide receiver for Houston Texans. Then we got for our diamonds. Ooh, we know we got some diamond rookies here. One. Just two? Ooh. So we got six total diamonds here. Okay. Right? Yeah, six total diamonds. Only two of which were rookies. So you're getting three diamonds in each blaster. We pulled one diamond rookie out of each blaster. So those aren't really... That's not a great pull rate, I wouldn't think. So let's see how low they get priced on the secondary market. Take a look at our... Um, Inserts here, prestigious pros, Big Ben. I think we got some more prestigious pros here. Uh, yeah. Drew Brees. Time stamped, DJ Metcalf. Time stamped, Ren Mayuk. So those are one per blaster on average. Um, we got a foil here. College Trask. It's not numbered or anything. But it looks really cool, and we pulled one. So, that looks pretty cool. But is it the same thing as this? Is it the same Insta series? That's Season Greetings. This is Heroes, I'm guessing. They're both foil. Number HE. Different numbers on the back. Then we got... Uh, Herbert's Hero Debuts, that was one. So those aren't guaranteed. Powerhouse, we got one of those between the two blasters. Any given Sundays, we got two of those, so that's one per blaster. Uh, so inserts aren't necessarily easy pulls. We did pull two mems out of two blasters. We got the CD Lamb, Stars of the NFL. And we got a Gridiron Heritage, Mark Gastineau. All right, guys, so that's it. My uh, first impressions of Prestige is it's going to be, there's good cards in here. They look nice. They look better in person, I think, maybe than they look in camera. I don't know how they look. You know? They look pretty damn good to me. I mean, I don't know. But they feel good. They're not, they don't feel cheap, you know, like and Prestige has to me in the past. At least the last time I think I did them. I think they felt a little bit eh, not too good. Uh, it was a while ago, but they feel pretty good. I like them. Uh, I do have a couple more blasters. I think I'll probably open them. I think I have two or three more. Where are they at? That I will open. Um, 
I got a lot more stuff. I found some more Bowman too. And I got a hobby box of Racing Chronicles I still haven't opened and Top Stadium Club hobby boxes. Two of those I still haven't done. So go ahead, check me out on the, uh, check my channel out. Uh, like, sub, comment, whatever you got to do. You know what I'm saying? And uh, bye for now and off to the next. Later.